Oh, giggity, giggity, we got an update, guys. Yay! Looks like we got some kind of event going on. We do. I knew it. Alright guys, let's go ahead and click on this. Alright, score some apples through special quests and in-game activities. School district say students buy for them. Let's get it going. It's just started. Alright, so we're searching for apples. Got rankings. I mean, nobody ranked yet. It's buggy. Principal's path. So let me see. The pass is gonna cost probably ten bucks. What? The big one's twenty-four dollars. Man, they're crazy. Really challenge. Good news. Let's take part in activities. Guys, right, so with this whole deal, uh, with the uh, the premium, of course, and a lot of people are probably thinking, oh, what about the premium? What about the premiums, Will? Premium is actually pretty good to get. Um, I went ahead and got the $10 one. Let me go ahead and claim the rewards. It bothers me to not claim my rewards that I did earn. All right, so let me see here. Now, it's not showing right now, but they had two different ones. You got the 999 one, which is the regular one, the regular Schmegler, which is going to go ahead and give you access to the actual extra rewards. They both give you access to both rewards. And then you have the... I, mine was twenty four ninety nine. I don't know. My, I think it might change per... Whatever situation room you might have, I'm not sure. I haven't looked at my low account yet, so I'm not really sure about that. Um, actually, you know what? We can switch to that real fast. Hold on. All right, so here we are on the low account. Principal's Pass. All right, so we got two different ones, guys. All right, so this is, oh, it is cheaper on the, uh, oh, ho, ho! All right, so you got the regular, regular Schmegler for $9.99, and then you got the the other one. I call this one the premium one. Um, the, on my main account, which is a situation room 10, it is $24.99 to get that one. Um, on this one, it's only $15.99, so it's like $10 cheaper. I don't understand why the principal pass is not cheaper, but hey, it is what it is, guys. All right, so that's that's the difference between the two. And I was pretty much wondering exactly what to do on that. All right, so you have different quests. Those are your rewards you get, guys. Let me go back to the other account. All right, so we got our good old rewards, guys, the good old rewards. Of course, if you're just a free-to-play player, you get the top row. If you're a premium player, well, not, I'm not gonna, let, me, let me not say that. Principal pass player, not a premium principal pass player you get the both you get the top and the bottom row all right so if you bought the i'm gonna call the premium a la premium of the actual principal pass which is the uh, expensive one i'll say it that way you're gonna get 15 extra levels and that's the only difference between both of them now if you're a late player like i am for most of these events you want to go ahead and get the 15 or actually 15 extra levels this is going to bring you to one It'll bring you right here to the actual, the first thing here, which is the uh, engineer weapon, okay? The uh, science glove, okay? Which is level 98 to 100. It'll take you straight to that, okay? Now, if you're on a different whatever, different uh, situation room, the levels are gonna vary for that, okay? But for my situation room, mine's 98 to 100, all right? So that's that. And you'll immediately get that, and you immediately get the physicist set also, which is gonna give you, um, 
Once a unit is killed, resurrect at random ally with 45,000 bonus energy, charge, health, or actually 45,000 health. Um, the ability cannot resurrect the wearer. Of course not. <laughs> That'd be overpowered. All right, so I'm almost there. Almost at 98, guys. My, my highest guy is 95 right now, about to hit 96, and I'm pretty cool with that. Um, and then you keep on going, guys, until you can't go anymore. And then once you start going all the way to the end, which is really good because you get you get turds, you get koala, you get premiums, you get all kind of stuff. You get even Rogers, guys, a five-star Roger, which I don't need anymore. Uh, but I'll collect them. Then we got this ancient Arabalest. Look at this, man. These gears are nice. All right, just look at the whole graphic while I read, guys. Uh, when attacking has 20% to 22% chance of dealing 75 to 90% damage to a group of enemies. Attacks have a 24% chance of stunning the enemy for 3 seconds and dealing 45,000 damage over 3 seconds. If the enemy is killed during that period, summons a minion whose attack have stunning effect. Are you kidding me, guys? Wow. Okay. And then we have the gunslinger gear or the armor. Uh, go ahead and uh, let's see. Damage is 64 to 68, 50. Um, dodge. Um, each hit steals 6% of the target's max health. And 6% of its damage. That, what? <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, guys. This is amazing. You need to reach level 35 in the Pearl Valley Challenge to unlock this reward. So yeah, that's that's very doable. Plus, then you get premium three days. And the top one, you get two days premium. This is going to be very... This is going to be an interesting 20 days, 21 hours, 59 minutes, guys. Very interesting. And then I get the legendary rewards there. More legendary rewards. Student of the month special offer. You want to kind of stay away from those special offers, guys. As far as I, from my understanding, I'll have to get more clarification on that. But you don't want to get those special offers. Don't claim them right now. Don't claim them. And then you get all the way to the end. Oh wait, here's another legendary here. You got the ball stabber sword. All right, so this is your this is your uh, warrior weapon. All right, so look at the animation while I am reading, guys. When attacking, has a 20 to 22 percent chance of restoring 9 to 11 percent health in self. When attacking, the unit has 17% chance of teleporting itself amidst the enemies and dealing 7,000 splash damage, stunning nearby enemies for half a second. Half a second's a long time, guys. Especially if you're in like Morning Mimosa and you're, you know, you're, you're at the point where you're gonna probably die or not win, or it, 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 it can be like a difference between one point or two points. Okay, that's kind of good. These are overpower weapons, guys, and gears. All right, then we got the PB Coach Armor. Uh, when the unit's health is critically low, makes the unit invulnerable to debuffs for six seconds and stuns nearby enemy for three seconds. Again, three seconds is a lot, guys. Like if I'm, I'm just going by Morning Mimosa, not the PvP on the map, but Morning Mimosa. Then we got Thousand Turds. Oh my God, guys, I gotta make it this far. I know I will. I'm not worried about it. I'm gonna be playing this on both accounts. Thank God I have a lot of different devices. I have two phones and three tablets. So there's no excuse for me not to get this done. All right, so that's pretty much it all the way to the end. No more gear. And then you, after a while, you start getting the, every five levels, you start getting the back to school um, chest. And you have a chance to get these other gears, guys. You got the Pearl Belly Amulet. Resurrection restores 40% more health if the target is an amulet wearer. Once the once resurrected, the unit deals 40,000 splash damage. Hell yeah. You got the Pearl Belly Ring. You got damage and health. Strength is aware is based on what is happening on the battlefield. Activates once per battle. Summoned minions don't count. When the enemy has an advantage of one unit, the unit deals extra 17,000 damage for the next three attacks and restores 40,000 of its health over four seconds. When the enemy has an advantage of two units, the units become invulnerable for 1.6 seconds and deals 40,000 damage across a certain area. All right, and then we also have the Pearl Bailey's Pride High and Joy. 4%. That's going to be, oh, show some spirit with this new pet. So that gives you 4% happiness. Now, I've seen someone in the comments saying that the price has always been $9.99. No, it hasn't. I've seen the price, like for your pets, I've seen $6.99. I, don't, I, I could be mistaken. It could have been $4.99, but I could have swore it's been $6.99. I don't know if that depends on your situation room level. Not sure. But yes, yeah, $9.99 was not the, uh, the price as always for these pets. All right, so we got the unique artifact. We got the Book of Knowledge. All right, imbues weapons of four random allies, excluding the wearer, with the power of knowledge for one strike. The effect depends on unit type. Gunslingers are going to fire 
a shot that hits two more random enemies and deals 20,000 extra damage to those enemies and the main target. Holy shiza, black guys. Wow. All right, so we got the engineers. Uh, remove buffs from target and deals 45 damage over four seconds. Removes buffs from the target. So if these guys have some stuff going on, they're going to get stripped of that. That's amazing. Wow. I want to play this right now. <laughs> Damn. All right, so for the Warriors, reduce the target's physical and energy armor by 35% and reduces its healing efficiency by 70%. Let's talk about that, guys. Holy crap, man. Reduces the target's physical and energy armor by 35%. So he's going to go ahead and strip all that stuff. And then if you have engineers in your group, which I usually have like two or three, sometimes four, they're going to wail on this guy and he's going to go, he's going to drop and reduces its healing efficiency by 20, uh, 70%. That's amazing right there, guys. I got to get this. I don't usually get these unique stuffs. So I always get unlucky on that. We got the Explorer set. Uh, once in a while, after a clone deals 60,000 damage, uh, Repellent Shield activates Repellent Shield, absorbing 60% physical damage for five seconds. While active, the shield periodically damages nearby enemies, dealing up to 32,000 energy damage. Okay, so that's kind of cool. So you're... They're pretty much hit themselves. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's kind of cool. It's not kind of cool. It's really cool. And then last but not least, we got the Buffalo Daggers, guys. When attacking has a 12 to 13% chance of dealing 100 to 120% of weapon damage in five seconds. Attacks have 15% chance of activating a chain of lightning strike to target and random enemies. Strikes deal 26,000 energy damage plus bonus from energy charge. Oh my God, look at this. Engineers for the win, guys. Well, actually not engineers, but um, yeah, daggers. But yeah, definitely for this, it seems like for me, to me, it seems like engineers are getting like some serious love. And I like engineers, so I'm okay with this. All right, so that's the rewards. And then you got the special rewards. We already went over those. So we got there and then we have the quests. So you're gonna do these quests every single day. Right now, every single, I think every day, you're gonna get the ad connoisseur. So that's easy to knock out. You just watch the ad. Then you got fire, I got firearm destruction. All I gotta do is break down the gunslinger weapons. I'm gonna knock that out really quick. And then Mimor, uh, Mimosa Master, just do morning Mimosa, fight the battles, and that's it. So I got five matches. I got one, that's one match, five equals one. So two matches, you get this done. And then you got the engineer exterminator, defeat enemies engineers. And that's pretty much either PvP on the map or morning mimosa or anything else like that rankings of course i'm going to be at 100 plus this this has only been out about two hours this event's been out for two hours i started it when it first came on but now it's two hours later i haven't done much since all right then you got the store so if you guys are buying if you guys are buying your apples you can get one level it's gonna cost you 300 turds you can buy five levels for 1450 and you can buy 15 levels for uh 4300 turds okay so that's if you're gonna in the in the mix and you're trying to get this stuff done and the event's about to end, which we still have almost almost three quarters of a month to get this done. So there's no excuse, guys. All right, so let me see. Get more levels completed. Complete additional quests to earn more apples. Um, purchase levels instantly. Claim rewards for completing them. And that's what you want to do if you're in that in that uh, shake or that mix. All right, so for getting the rewards, guys, this is how you got to get it. This is the rules. This is how you do it. Play it up. Uh, play to level up to Pearl Belly Challenge by using apples. Get apples by taking part in activities by completing special uh, quests. Quests are available each week. Be sure to complete them all to get more rewards. Principal Pass owners will get both ordinary rewards and Principal Pass rewards. If you unlock new levels and then purchase Principal Pass, you will be able to claim Principal Pass rewards you have earned. All right, so that's good right there. So pretty much morning mimosa and everything else like that morning mimosa morning mimosa morning mimosa all right pvp on the map of course that's never going to stop you can get two apples from the P, uh, pvp on the map morning mimosa gave me three each match was three now when it came to the barbecue and i hate comparing it guess this is just like the barbecue event guys except i think it might be better in one reason more than another but it's actually gonna be harder because they give us less of the actual item. I can't remember if it was what the um, barbecue item was, but we got apples in this one. So whatever the barbecue equivalent was, I think for the barbecue event, we got more of it. So I'm not complaining, but the thing is, I think the developers say, hey, you know what? We lost a lot of money with that barbecue event because 
you can do all kind of stuff, guys, and you get a lot of the item on that. You can do more mimosa. I think we got like 20 to between 20 and 50 per match. I don't know. I think it was 20, 25, 30 or something like that. Somewhere around that range. That's all we got. All right. And then you got your shopping mall, of course. If you got the premium, you get the second one for free. And then if not, after that, you have to start using um, 120 of your 120,000 of your food. And then after a while, it'll start asking for some of your um, your turds after you do it so many times. They kind of screwed us on this. It's Monday because now we can't do. Oh, we can do this. Oh, we get one apple just for doing the uh, bazooka shark's nest. Okay, and I don't really do the sh bazooka shark's nest much. We can watch ads, and everything like that. They kind of screw it around sometimes. I know one time they ended it on the Saturday. It's supposed to end Saturday night, but for some reason, one time it ended on the Saturday once. I think they run out of balls or something like that. I don't know what the case was. I don't remember. Okay, like I said, PVP on the map, doing all your stuff, and remaining consistent, guys. And you'll get to the end. You will get to the end, guys. There's no... If you play the game, you will get to the end. There's no reason you can't. All right, physicist set. They break it down. Historian uniform. And champion's chest. But that's pretty much it, guys. Definitely make sure you guys post. Let me see what you guys are getting. How far you guys have made it. Definitely looking forward to seeing screenshots or whatever you guys... If you got video, send it to me. Email is down in the description down below. You can follow me on all social media. You can follow me on Instagram, uh, Facebook, and Twitter. I do post the videos there as well sometimes. Sometimes I do clips or whatever the case is. There's a contest going on. I, I'll let you guys know. All right? So you just got to look in the description or the community tab. Sometimes community tab, if you guys read it, usually not not everybody reads the community tab, but I would definitely encourage you guys because that's whenever I do contests, giveaways, I'm going to put it on the community tab. I'm not going to put it in the video. I'm going to put it on the community tab, and then I'll link it to a video or something like that. We're gonna do something crafty like that. It's about that time, guys. So I think uh, I think it's about time for us to be due for a giveaway. All right, so like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.